Hello everybody, this is Brent Warner at edtech.tv. I hope everybody's doing well. Today I want to share an app that I've been waiting for for a long time. And that is Reflector 2. Uh, you might have seen me talk about Reflector 1 on how to turn your iPad into a smart board. But uh, today I'm really excited that Reflector 2 is out because it can display your Android as well and also it can do some screencasting just a lot of super cool functions so let's go take a look now reflector 2 is available for both mac and pc but since i normally use my mac i'm going to continue doing that for this recording today uh, we're gonna have to play a little bit of imagination game because for me to actually turn on my android device and sh show it on the screen i have to turn on my Android device and show it on the screen, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to uh, show it to you as if I didn't have it displaying through the screen. So we'll, we'll imagine and we'll, we'll make it work out like that. But first things first, you do have to open the app up and it's going to create a little icon up here at the top. Uh, it's not a big, you know, full screen thing. It's just hidden up here at the top to kind of be out of your way. Once you see that this is opened up or it looks a little different, of course, in the Windows version, then you are good to go. When you've got your Android device open, you are going to pull down the menu at the top and you're going to access your uh, notifications settings right here. And down at the bottom, right now it says, you know, Brent's MacBook Air, but it'll say uh, cast screen or screencast. And what you'll be able to do is you'll open that up, and as long as both your tablet or uh, your Android device, or of course your iPhone, are on the same Wi-Fi network as your main computer that you're running Reflector on, you should just be able to click, and it will connect you into the system. So once you've done that, then you'll be able to see everything that's showing up on the screen, just like... Uh, just like it does with uh, Reflector and you're, you might be used to from the iPhone version, but this is really cool that I can finally display an Android device. I, I can't tell you how happy I am about that. It's, it, you know, I don't actually use Androids a lot. I do have one, um, but I just felt like there's so many teachers who are missing out on really great opportunities who are using Android devices, and so I'm super happy that this is here. So... You can use it however you want to. Um, I'm not going to get into you know what you want to do in terms of actually showing stuff. You're, that's all up to you. That all of the applications can be broadcast directly to your computer. But the cool thing here is that they have built in a recorder directly into the app. So I can choose and click here and I can click on my microphone and turn it on. And then if I hit record, I can actually record directly what I'm doing on the screen along with audio, which is super cool. So let's give it a try. This is me recording audio as a test, and I'm switching screens back and forth just to see what it looks like. It'll quickly make a recording, and it'll call it what you want to. You can retitle it, and we'll save it right down there to the desktop, and this is what it looks like. This is me recording audio as a test, and I'm switching screens back and forth just to see what it looks like. So it looks pretty good. There are a few issues. It, it can be a little bit grainy sometimes, but I think that'll just get cleared up with time. I can also choose, if I want to, to bring up both an Android device and an iPhone. I'm going to show you that just now. So here you can see that it's brought up my iPhone as well. And if I want to make them equal in size or whatever I want to do, I can kind of continue to adjust that and make it how it look however I want to in terms of the two different devices being shown. And another cool thing is if you're having your students display their devices and you want to shut something off, you have control from the computer right up here. You can just click on your Reflector 2 icon and I can choose to discontinue showing, you know, for example, the iPhone and I can only show my own device if I want to. 
So there are a lot of possibilities here. Uh, you know, you can show students devices, you can pass around activities, all of that type of stuff. But I'm most excited just about the simple ability to uh, screencast right from the computer. It's so cool and so useful. A lot of teachers, I think, will start using this to put up videos. Um, if you turn it horizontally, you'll find that you'll probably be able to, <laughs> sorry, it's not matched up. There we go. If you turn it horizontally, you'll find that it'll probably fit a screen, a you know, regular computer screen a little bit better. Lots to play with here. I am super amped up about this. I'm just so happy that everybody now kind of has an equal chance at running these apps on their computers and broadcasting them on their uh, screens as well, because this is just another way to say, goodbye to the smart board and goodbye to the document cams because now we've got everything at our fingertips and something we're carrying around anyways. So I hope you have a fun time playing with Reflector 2 and uh, I know I'm going to really test out the waters and see what I can get out of it. So for today your homework is to go and download Reflector 2 at airsquirrels.com. I am going to say that it's not free um, but I am a firm believer in playing for really good apps and really good services. I think it's about $14 or something like that. Well beyond worth it. Something you should just go and invest in right now. Absolutely. Then the next uh, set of homework is to play, play, play. There's just a lot to jump into and play around with. They've added some cool features that I didn't talk about here. Uh, I have them written up on the website on this blog post at edtech.tv. So go check it out if you want to know a little bit more. But it's just here for you to use and jump into it, you guys. I, I really want to encourage people just to try something out and uh, give it a shot. Speaking of giving things a shot, I would love it if you follow me online at EdTechTV, at EdTechTV, at EdTechTV, <laughs> wherever you are. Uh, I want to hear from you. I am really having a great time with a lot of interesting people on Twitter right now and on Instagram. Uh, you know, go out, shoot me a message, follow me, I will follow you, and uh, we can all have a good time. I hope all's going well for you as always, and I will talk to you soon.